All right, let's talk about timers in JavaScript. Sometimes we want to run some statements after some time, right? So if we do this, we have two statements here. And as soon as we load the page, they are run immediately, right? So we immediately see them. But let's say we want to run these statements after some time, after two seconds, perhaps. Well, there are some built-in timers in JavaScript. Uh, usually, you know, if you just write a word like this, you'll get an error because hello here, doesn't it doesn't mean anything. It's not a variable. It doesn't exist. So we get an error. But we do have something else called set timeout. So if I do this, we don't get an error, right? So this is given to us by JavaScript. And here we can do two things we can specify um, which statements we want to run now remember we group statements in a function right so we specify it by giving a function here so let's write a function and then we can put these statements in the function body that's the this is one argument that we pass to set time out the second argument is after how long we want to run this function so that's and that's in milliseconds so if we do two thousand 2000 that's two seconds so let's see what happens now if i load the page you can see in the beginning we don't see anything and after two seconds we see our hello and hi right it can also be five seconds five thousand milliseconds so if i refresh here in the beginning we don't see anything we still don't see anything you know it can take some time here five seconds let's see yeah eventually we see uh hello and hi right but we only see it once what if we want to do something every two seconds let's say not just once, but every two seconds. Well, we also have set interval. So we have set interval and it expects two arguments. So first the function that we want to run every two, every X seconds. So let's say a function and we want to do the same thing. So two same, the same statements and we want to do it every 2000 milliseconds, right? So every two seconds. So let's see what we get if we do this. And so let's see in the beginning, nothing. After two seconds, we see this. And then after another two seconds, we see another hello and hi. And it keeps going like that every two seconds, right? So this is maybe something you want to do. We'll see some examples of this. Um, and let me actually uh, refresh here. Actually, let me comment this out so we don't get this uh, super long list now. So let's actually convert this to an arrow function just to show you how that would look like. Traditional function, right? This is a traditional function, has no name fine we can convert it to an arrow function like this nicer syntax because it's a bit shorter right so whenever you have to sort of give uh, a function as an argument to something people often try to use these arrow functions because they're shorter to write right here we can remove the function keywords and we just have to have this fat arrow as it's called right it's a bit shorter yeah that's how you would convert it to an arrow function by the way if this was helpful i'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe also check out my courses on css and javascript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level because in there we will build some beautiful real world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master css or or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.